Thanks very much, Brian. Congress defending money for one of these things and cutting it for another. And you guessed it, the dancing IRS gets the money. <laughs> well, hazard pay for our troops is being cut, even though they're not related. Does this affect our national security? Joining us now is CEO of Concerned Veterans for America, Pete Hagseth. Good morning to you, Pete. Good morning, Gretchen. All right, so this is a result of sequestration, that big long word that had to do with the fact that Democrats and Republicans couldn't get their act together to come up with how to cut our deficit, and now this is the end result, right? Absolutely, this is the end result. This is directly how D.C. Washington dysfunction affects our national security because politicians left and right are unwilling to come together and reform things that clearly need reform whether it's the IRS which anyone who who's had their head out of the sand knows uh, it's got serious problems or the Defense Department where there is waste and fat to be cut uh, that both Congress and the DOD acknowledges but no one's willing to make the tough political calls to get it done so instead cuts fall on the backs of the trigger pullers whether it's benefits or combat pay uh, and the big stuff that should be reformed never gets touched. So last week we were talking about the fact that these danger zones I believe there were 18 of them throughout the, the world mm -hmm. basically if, if you were not at a direct threat to be killed imminently you're not going to get this additional danger pay if you're a member of the military and a lot of people were like well wait a minute isn't it implicit in the fact when you serve <laughs> that you're in danger but let, let's take a look at these cuts 45 billion from 2013 coming up on 2014 52 billion dollars how is that going right. to impact our national security well, Gretchen, first is that it's going to continue to hit another $50 billion every year if we don't figure out how to reform the way we spend money. It's, it's going to hit because it, it will manifest itself across the board in indiscriminate cuts, which means it's going to hit every part of the Pentagon budget, including personnel and benefits and stuff like danger pay and combat pay. Uh, so until the White House leads and Congress, Republicans, and Democrats put forth budgets that reflect the Budget Control Act, reflect the fact that sequestration is the law of the land, or at least acknowledge it in planning, you're going to continue to hit the sequestration 50 billion this year, 50 billion next year, 50 billion the following year, and every year it's going to be bad cuts. I've called them stupid cuts because that's what they are, uh, instead of real reforms that get us on a sound fiscal track and acknowledge, hey, we're 17 trillion in debt, but we need to right. keep the biggest, baddest military we can in the world. And you know what, Pete, I think what angers so many people or frustrates them is that also last week we report on this 34 million dollar facility in Afghanistan that nobody's ever going to use so now you have this <laughs> state-of-the-art place that's a complete waste and you think about that kind of money and how it could help members of our military absolutely that's a, it was a glaring example you take that alongside the 72 B billion that was wasted in the acquisitions process just in 2012 alone whether it's an empty headquarters in Afghanistan or weapon systems that are way over budget and, and over timeline mm -hmm. there's ways to save money let's get smart about it that's what our organization concerned vets for America is trying to do right. hold these politicians accountable all right Pete uh, thanks so much for your time and your efforts have a great week thanks Gretchen you too. coming up on our